Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is your host Ben on the Lover of Tech channel and I've got a camera comparison between the Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus. So I've been getting a lot of questions of what is the differences between both of these flagship cameras and phones from the Galaxy family from Samsung. So I thought let me do a camera comparison for you guys so you can judge to see if there's any difference between these two cameras. So we're going to put these cameras through different situations with the rear and the front facing cameras. We're going to start with the front facing cameras and both these front facing cameras are pretty much identical. Both sport an 8 megapixel front facing camera with an f1.7 aperture lens that both record in 1440p 30 frames a second and have autofocus for the front facing camera which is really really awesome to see so we're going to start with the video for the front facing cameras and see how these perform and also different situations for the rear facing cameras and some pictures side by side i'm going to talk you through how these perform and if there's any differences between the two so this is the front facing camera with video so we're just going to walk you're going to see different audio icons so you can actually judge if there's any difference in the audio quality between both these phones and see how they come. We are outdoors, it's cold. What's the temperature tonight, Z? Below freezing. Cool, man, below freezing. Shout out to my boys Elijah on the camera, helping out. I'm gonna leave his channel in the description below. One of the best Christian rappers around and music directors. So check him out, follow him, tell him that I sent you. And we're out here testing the low light performance of the Galaxy Note 8 and the S8 Plus. We're gonna put the videos and the pictures throughout the test and see how these videos and the images come out. So watch the low light performance and let me know what you guys think. So I'm gonna run you through the rear camera specifications for both the Note 8 and the S8 Plus. Both are using a 12 megapixel F1.7 aperture lens camera 
with optical image stabilization with a pixel micron size of 1.4 microns. But the difference you have with the Galaxy Note 8 is it does have a secondary telephoto zoom lens also with optical image stabilization with an f2.4 aperture lens and also a pixel micron size of 1.0 and hybrid autofocus. Both cameras are capable of recording 4K 30 frames a second and also slow motion at 240 frames a second at 720p. Now everything has been set into automatic, I've not made any changes. So we're gonna skip next to the images and I'm gonna talk you through what I'm seeing by images of both these cameras. So as you've seen the images roll through side by side, you can see that there's not much difference if there's any difference at all between the Galaxy Note 8 and the S8 Plus images as they're taken in low light and also in sunlight. And it pretty much just shows that the rear cameras pretty much behave the same. But I will talk you through some of the differences that I noticed when I was using the rear camera. What separates the two as you're seeing the images roll and what you might actually prefer whether it's relevant to your needs or not. So the first difference I noticed was the telephoto zoom lens of the Galaxy Note 8 and the S8 Plus in times two digital zoom. The telephoto zoom with this particular image of the church, you could see a slightly sharper image, but you really, really have to look close to notice. And it gives a much more wider look to the image as well from what you're seeing. And it's probably just based on the fact that it's in a times two lossless state where with the S8 Plus, you are doing a times two digital zoom, but take it for what you see, that was one of the difference I noticed. Again, the next difference I could see was this row of houses where the S8 Plus was doing a times two digital center crop zoom. It wasn't getting much of a sharp image compared to what I was also seeing from the telephoto zoom lens being in action on the Galaxy Note 8. And also you're getting a sharper image and you're seeing more in terms of things like the street sign on the far left at the bottom. You can see more because the image is in a center crop. It's actually a times two lossless zoom state. So you're getting a wider image rather than the center crop. So that's another thing to take into account that when you are using the telephoto zoom, you will get a sharper image. Now, this is the next major difference you're gonna notice with the camera experience. On the left is the Galaxy Note 8 in the live focus portrait mode where you're able to control the background blur before and after the fact and also dual capture, which I'm gonna show you later on, which utilizes both cameras at the same time. And on the right, you have got a selective focus bokeh mode on the main camera for the Galaxy S8 Plus, but it doesn't seem to work as consistent. And the reason why I paired is this moment as well, I was trying to get a portrait shot and the Galaxy S8 Plus with the main rear camera just wasn't able to get it at all where it wasn't able to do the background depth of field, whereas the Note 8 was able to do that. Now, when the S8 Plus was able to get the background depth of field bokeh done, it seems like it's doing a natural good job. But actually, if you look at the bench on the right and the left, it's really struggling to blur it. Whereas the Note 8, although it looks aggressive, the edge detection is a lot better. It's blurring a lot more of the objects in the background. But the benefit you have with live focus is in the name where you're able to adjust the blur before and after the fact. And as you see next, I was able to adjust the blur, reduce it to give a much more natural image on the Galaxy Note 8 and then also use dual capture to be able to preserve the wide angle image, having two images in one, which really gives great control. This is the main difference that you're gonna experience with the Galaxy Note 8, which I think is one of my favorite features about this phone and it's worth the dual camera system on there. Whereas with the selective focus on the main camera lens at the back of the S8 Plus, you don't have to control over the depth of field. You pretty much have an on and off feature, but because there isn't a secondary lens, you're not able to dual capture and control the depth of field like you'd want to. These are the main differences that you're gonna experience with the Note 8 and the S8 Plus. Everything else pretty much renders a very similar experience, but where the Note 8 wins is definitely in the camera versatility. So let me know what you guys think and what your opinions are. I really like the camera versatility that you get from the Galaxy Note 8, but both cameras really, really perform similar and they're really awesome in their right. So it really depends on what you want from your camera when you're using it. Both these cameras also have a front facing selfie bokeh mode and the mode in which it does that is selective focus and it actually works consistently better than I thought it would. And that's for both the Note 8 and the SA Plus. So if you do want to do front facing selfie bokeh, you can do it on here as well. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed this comparison and hope it answers some questions about the differences between both these phones. There's gonna be more comparisons like this. Let's have a discussion in the comment section below. Let me know what camera comparison you would wanna see next. I'm your host, Ben, signing out. 
and I will see you next time. So if you stay till the end of this video and watch everything, I really, really appreciate it. And I wanted to give a couple of shout outs to people that have been staying repping on the Love Rope Tech channel from early and also seeing the growth in the comment section, always staying consistent. I wanted to give a shout out to Razek with awesome feedback and consistency within the comments. And also all the guys that hashtag Team TLS for the Tech Lover Squad, the Notification Squad, Artik Gupta. Hopefully I've not butchered your name. I wanted to give you a shout out as well. Also my brother Hartley as well, always staying consistent in the comments and everyone else that hashtagged Team TLS. If I've not given you a shout out, do not worry. Next time, make sure you hashtag Team TLS. But the last and the biggest shout out I wanted to give to you is my man A1 in a box. He just dropped his video comparison of the iPhone 10 versus the Galaxy Note 8 camera comparison. I'm gonna link in the video. Make sure you head over to his channel, check out the video, tell him I sent you, subscribe. He's a really underrated YouTuber and he does some awesome quality content. So that's it for me signing out and I will see you next time. Whoop.